the two times in my life that I think I've been in legitimate love, I've always been the type to ride or die. So when it's in the pits of hell and any logical sane person would be like, oh, this is, this is time, this is over. I'd be like, we can still do it. I was going through it. I was going through with my ex and try to just lay it out and be like, okay, well, what are my options here? How can I get over this? In Spanish, there's a saying that says, if you're trying to get over someone, that un clavo saca otro clavo. It's translated as a little crude, but it means one screw takes out another screw. So that maybe somebody else can help you get over someone else. The song was already an amazing song. And then I get wind that I am the person who wants to be uh, guested on it. I'm being allowed to grace it, so. Uh, I actually got the song when I was here in New York, and I don't really record in New York that much, but I did my verse here. I was in the middle of tour. My voice was a little messed up, but... And he thugged it out. Yeah, love the song, love the tempo, love the beat, love the lyrics, and I got to step into a different space and, like, just play a role for a second. Hi, my name is Black, and sometimes people call me six like I don't mind because they stubborn, and my bank account is looking mighty fine. Hey, the thing is, I don't care. Doesn't matter. Checks, cash, the same. Pronounce it right, pronounce it wrong. My name is still my name. It's been my name since, like, middle school. The more people talk about it, the more merch I'm just going to sell. And it's going pretty good. We can skip the wine and dine. Go straight to the wine and grind. We could do the romance stuff, but we know where the romance leads, so let's just do that. Let's get over. She wanna come, I can make it happen, fuck trying. Sometimes I get messy, you can be my biggest secret. During stages of my career, like I've gotten in spaces where creatively I've zoned in and like honed in on what I wanna do and everything else has just been like in orbit around me. So it's like not really paying too much attention to relationships or being in and out of them. I mean, I don't like telling people my business anyway. So uh, if you do know my business, that's a big step. Biggest secret is almost like a natural thing to me because I'm just super, controlling over like what I want people to know, especially like, you know, doing music, being out in the public is like, all right, well, they already know my birth date, where I'm from, my family, they follow my mom on Instagram. Like, let me limit what I can. I ain't sliding if you with them, baby. You gonna have to leave them. I got morals on Sundays, sometimes on Wednesdays. Really, it depends. Dry humor, baby. I got morals on Sundays, sometimes on Wednesdays. Really, it depends what time of the week it is, like what I'm feeling like that week, what I ate, you know. Case by case. Yo, ooh, ooh. You're in love with somebody else. You're in love with somebody else. Maybe I could offer some. Maybe help. I could offer some. Get over help. them by getting under me. But you might OD if you get too much of me. From that point in the song, I feel like we just sent in a proposal. Like, yo, man, I'm struggling, you're struggling. Scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Funny thing about my back is it's on my deck. <laughs> Uh, my name is not important. My name is not important because I feel like I'm talking for a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people have been through this. It's not something new, which is funny because love is such an old thing in human history. You'd think we'd have it figured out by now. You'd think we have like a sufficient remedy, but we don't. The sad side of love happens to everybody. I'm not from here, I'm imported. What I'm not from here, I'm imported means to the overall narrative of the song is basically I'm imported into someone else's life or you're imported into my life. When something doesn't... I guess blossom as a fairy tale and you and you spend weeks together and all that stuff and it happens quicker. I feel like it's more apparent that someone's been placed into that spot, you know, like a sub. I drink liquor like it's order, hold my liver, can't afford it. Honestly, I've been trying to be healthier this year, these last couple of months, so I've been cutting down. But yes, I used to drink a lot. I'm trying to drink water like it's water now. Yeah, man, I'm trying to kill off the demons that need the liquor so much. And I feel like I've been in darker places and I've just been working on it, working on self-betterment. But if you drink, I don't judge you. Sometimes you need water, sometimes you need liquor, man. It's all good. I be lying, your man in this room. I be lying, I be lying. So triple entendre. So the first one is, I've been lying because the first section of that song is me talking about myself in armor, myself in a stronger sense, myself in like, I relate to everyone and this is all normal and I can drink and I'm lit and I'm fine. And then that section in the song is when it's kind of like, you go to the bathroom at the party and you're drunk and you catch yourself in the mirror. I'm sure a lot of people, when you, when you have that moment by yourself, cause you've been mixed up in all these energies and then you have the moment and you're like, fuck, if you just, spent the night with somebody and you're lying there too and you're like, oh, I'm lying here. And then the last one is those two worlds put together. Like I've been lying to myself while I'm lying here next to somebody. 
I'm under the covers like what happened here Ain't nothing sacred Shit that got me fucked up is I know that dude just saw me naked For me personally, I feel like it's something so intimate When you do, when you do decide that you want to make love to somebody In those situations, in those scenarios Where you feel like you've subbed somebody into your life To help, someone, to help you get over someone else It almost devalues the act Because it becomes something physical as opposed to something that's it's supposed to be intertwined. It's physical and spiritual. I feel like it should be something sacred. It's you. It's like, it's sacred. It's, it's the most vulnerable thing you can do. Nursing a broken heart, but who would have thought it'd take me ages? I ended up here because my girl said fake it till you make it. Pretend like you're moving on, and then hopefully one day reality will catch up. It's alchemy because... Your thoughts are just projecting out and then you control your reality and then you can fake it until you make it because you're making yourself feel good and you're just going to control it and it's going to be great. But then the other side of that is that delusional world where your subconscious just is not ready and it'll come out in different, in different moments in your day where it's just this wave of sadness. Hi, my name is Fuck It, cause my name is not important. I'm not from here, I'm important. Can't you tell my voice distorted? You important, I'm important. Make a movie, let's record it. People would like to see this on camera, so let's just like set it up. You can keep it between us if you ever want to post it. We can post it. You know, posting shit. I'm just fine. <laughs> Came a long way from a Honda trying to fuck you in some Porsches, baby. You. I didn't get my first car. I didn't pay for my first car until I got my first check. So that was 2016 when I got signed. I was always just hopping around in other people's cars. Buddha, he had a Honda two-door and it would be about, at the very least, seven of us squeezing into a two-door Honda Civic to get to shows, to get to places. Came a very long way from that. Got it out the mud. Shout out to Roddy Rich. Trying to fuck you in some Porsches is just a testament to where I am now. You have to improvise with car sex, so get the job done still. Recline the seat a little bit. You, you're in love with somebody. You're yeah. in love with somebody. Maybe else. I could offer some. Maybe yeah. I could offer some. He brought you down, now climb on top of me. Mm. You're gonna, gonna see. Yeah. yeah. You. Sometimes it's a toxic thing. Sometimes it's really a let me help you out situation. So uh, he brought you down. This is a relationship that you're necessarily like it's not good for you you're not supposed to be in it so just swing this way we can figure <laughs> something out and you'll feel better <laughs> swing this way festival season we just cross paths all the time we see each other oh and i was sick that time mm -hmm. and she gave me like bananas and vitamins and a whole bunch of other stuff yeah it's my backpack my 50 pound backpack <laughs>